So before going into Unreal, we need to understand some destruction theory uh, behind uh, simulations in games. And this can apply for different kinds of software, just like 3ds Max, Houdini, Unreal. It just happens that we're going to use Unreal. But if you're using any one of those, these principles apply to any of those softwares. So what is the theory behind this? Uh, let's just say I have a tower here. This is my castle. And the first thing I want to do is to clean my geometry. To make sure there are no holes and no open faces. It's very clean. Destruction can be a little bit picky in terms of of the quality of your geometry and how clean it is. So it's better to have the best geometry possible. So how the structure works in 3D is that we cut the mesh into different pieces like this. Like we can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like eight chunks here. And when we cut it, we can decide how we want to cut it. We want to cut it like this or we want to cut it straight like bricks, or we want to cut it like it's a like glass broken, the quality of the, your destruction will highly depend on how you cut your mesh. And if I check these pieces separately, you can see I have different chunks here. These are the chunks that will be destroyed. And when I destroy my asset, you will see these chunks uh, individually when we break our asset so if you want to have a different look in your destruction uh, you need to have like different chunks and have different patterns um, to have a high quality destruction simulation so this is what we do we start with a clean one and then we cut it into different chunks okay and this will already give us the simulation but we don't stop here. We can cut the chunk again to have different levels. For example, in this one, I'm cutting again here. So I can have one, two, three more pieces here of this asset. And I'm doing the same here. Uh, you can see that in this asset now I have smaller chunks here. And this one have three different chunks. And the rest of the asset will look like this okay so in the structure we we usually have our mesh and one of the biggest part of the destruction is not, not the simulation itself but how we cut our pieces so now that we understand this clearly uh, it's easier to go into unreal and understand how unreal create these chunks uh, to simulate our destruction. So remember that we need to have a clean geometry and we will cut this geometry into different pieces. And optionally, we can even cut these pieces into smaller ones so that we can have different levels of destruction. Now, each cluster will have a damage threshold. For example, I can apply a force here, and if it's strong enough, it will be destroyed. However, different chunks can have different damage thresholds. The same force I apply to destroy the big chunks uh, may not be the same for the smaller one. So this is where I can play with the forces in Unreal to check when I want the small pieces to destroy and when I want the big ones. And once you understand this, it will be much easier for you to understand what's going on inside Unreal. So the next thing we're gonna do is to jump inside Unreal and see how we can apply destruction in Unreal Engine 5. And using this theory, you will see that we'll be able to check all these pieces, the fracture, the chunks, the levels, and it will be much clearer there. 